everyone. So today I'm going to talk about my experience on the um, medical medium uh, Live Your Rescue book. Um, it's a fairly new book that was released, I believe, a few weeks ago. Um, it's, the, it's his newest book and um, I bought it, I think, two, year, two days after it was released. Um, uh, I bought the Kindle version because I didn't want to wait for it to come in the mail. Um, so I liked his uh, first book, um, The Medical Medium, but um, uh, I like the chapter on adrenal fatigue because I also struggle with um, depression, anxiety, um, and insomnia. And obviously, I've taken a lot of medications for it for many years, and um, the medication doesn't really help. I mean, it helps the first month, and then it stops doing anything. So I wanted a more holistic approach because I've like literally tried everything. Um, so the reason why I picked up Liver Rescue was because um, um, it talked. I have um, skin issues. Um, mainly like cystic acne and the liver rescue book went more in depth than any other book that he's released on um, acne issues um, so that's why I bought it <laughs> and so um, I highly recommend this book because um, Personally, it worked for me. It was a miracle for me. Like almost all my acne is gone in a matter of a few days. Okay, and that's amazing. <laughs> um, the book does include a liver uh, cleanse. It's called the Three Six Nine. Um, so and it's nine days of um, cleansing. So in in th in like. In each three days, there's a certain there's in three different stages. So, so, um, so it involves drinking a liver um, smoothie um, every day, and then there's a liver salad, um, a liver rescue salad that you take. And you also do celery juice, but um, I like I live in um, Saudi Arabia, so it was really expensive to buy so much celery. So um, he said you can also use cucumber juice, um, which I did. Um, sometimes if I if I was too lazy to juice it, I would just like eat a lot, like cut a lot of cucumbers and eat them. And yeah, I mean, I really like this diet because there weren't a lot of weird things that you couldn't find in um, grocery stores here. Um, I think the only, the most difficult thing for me was finding um, fresh Brussels Brussels sprouts, but um, I did end it, I did end up finding them um, in one of the grocery stores, so that's good. Um, even the herbs and um, themselves, um, everything I could just buy off of iHerb, and you can get them um, shipped to Saudi Arabia in a matter of like from d three days up to like a week and a half, like depending on how, how much you want to pay for the shipping. So it wasn't uh, a, a, like a big deal. Um, you can do this, I think, anywhere in the world. Um, you don't have to. Um, yeah, it's not it w like it wasn't a big deal for me. And um, so when I came back from vacation, I had like um, I, I was using um, stuff that I the dermatologist gave me for my acne. And um, the first month, it worked very well. Like, I could eat whatever I wanted. And um, it didn't affect my acne. So I was taking a topical antibiotic. Mom. And some other Mom. things. Okay, hello again. Um, so I was taking a lot of creams from the dermatologist. 
and um, yeah, after a month, um, I just I I found I saw like five um, pimples pop up on my face, and I was like, oh my god, this is not working at all. And um, I wasn't even eating like a lot of dairy, like I cut out dairy and all that. But I guess it wasn't working for me. I think it, my acne is more of a, an internal issue with my body. So like no matter what I put on my face, it's not going to go away. So um, I tried to go vegan again. Um, I slowly transitioned into vegan in um, October, and um, and then I I read um, Anthony Anthony Williams' first book, which is um, Medical Medium, and um, at first I thought his book was like <laughs> I thought it was a scam, but I just tried the book. I just tried the recipes and the suggestions in the book. And I felt really good. I no longer had insomnia. And um, I noticed that my skin was less oily. Like, um, I have, like, extremely oily skin. Like, um, after I eat, I like, it looked like somebody poured olive oil all over my face. So, yeah. Um, I noticed that um, it's not as oily. And it's, I mean... It's just a little bit oily, but not so much. And um, yeah, overall, like my anxiety levels decreased. Um, and I'm sleeping better and I don't have any more brain fog. And I also noticed like um, an overall optimism, up, up, an overall optimism that I had. Like, I noticed I was more positive and less apathetic, and I don't know, it's just like my um, vibration was a lot higher. I don't think, um, I don't get angry as much, or, yeah, things like that. <sighs> hello so I mean my skin isn't perfect or anything like I still have a lot of like scarring and this like this pigmentation and stuff from acne recently going away but I mean it was such a miracle for me I've never had like acne disappear so quickly like that in my whole life so I mean um you should try it and there's um it, it, so you, you do this cleanse um the the nine day cleanse and you can also take um so there is a section in the book um like depending on what kind of um disor like um disorder you have hello again so depending on what kind of um, illness or skin disorder you have, um, so in the in that book, you can check like he 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 recommends like supplements, uh, like all the supplement, and he he wrote down the um, doses and everything. So I found the book to be fairly straightforward, straightforward and easy to follow. Um, yeah, and like honestly, I've seen really good results in just a short few days. And after you finish doing the cleanse, you're going to follow some of the um, recipes in the book. And then if you want to, you can slowly tra transition back to your diet, but you still, like, um, you still shouldn't eat, like, um, the, um, the oils, the refined oils, I believe, like, corn oil and corn and eggs and... Um, 
Okay, so these are the herbs I've been taking. Um, I take them in uh, tincture form. Um, I find because I can just drop them all in um, like half a glass of water and just drink them. Um, uh, yeah, so I don't have to really, um, if they have like a bad taste, I can just like down it, like drink it pretty quickly and I don't really have to taste it. And so, um, the red, I find that the red clover is really nice. I think it's, uh, for the skin, it's a liver detoxifier. Um, and the cat's claw and the mullion, um, and the golden seal, I think they're, they're used to fight, um, strep B, uh, bacteria. Um, and also I, I believe mullion is also very good for any kind of strep infections or uh, bronchitis I believe or anything like that um, because it kills bacteria effectively and um, in his book he's saying that acne is caused by um, you know strep B bacteria and like um, even though you go on many rounds of um, of antibiotics like I did for many years um, it, does, it does, still doesn't get rid of the strep B because it makes them more resistant to antibiotics and um, conventional treatment so um, and the good thing about herbs is that they're they can they're never resistant to they never become resistant to um, certain strains of bacteria and things like that for example, like um, here I have also um, a curcumin supplement which is also in the book and this um, uh, kills uh, MRSA, uh, like it's, a, it's an antibiotic resistant um, strain of bacteria which is uh, really good. I find this is also nice for the skin and also good if you have depression. And um, I find the zinc is always makes me feel good, so I add in a liquid um, zinc supplement, like a zinc sulfate supplement. And um, vitamin C always, as a supplement, makes me feel really good. Um, and it's also really good for your immune system, so you're likely to get less colds and um, catch, you know, less diseases that way from other people.